everyone, how's it going? Hopefully you're all having a lovely Sunday. I currently am leaving the mall. I had to come pick up my Target order. Um, put in the ACs today, finally. So when it does get consistently warm out, uh, I'll be able to cool off a bit. I don't have one in the living room right now, so when I am working, um, it gets pretty hot in there, so usually I'll have my bedroom one on, just to have some a nice, nice little cool off box. Um, yeah, so last night was one of the weddings, and it was nice. Um, it's funny how <laughs> when you first get to a place, especially like a wedding and you're looking around, everyone at this wedding was kind of like preppy. Um, and like you could tell they had money type of people. Um, I looked around and I was like, oh, this is going to be an interesting crowd. And it was like open bar. It was a backyard wedding, but it was open bar, which was pretty wild. Um, and... So, you know, the night or the day started off kind of slow. About 45 minutes after being there, they finally started, like, the ceremony part, um, which was really nice. She had her little sister, um, basically, uh, what is it called? I don't know what it's called, but basically her sister was, like, the one that did the nuptials or whatever the hell it's called. Um... So she did that, and then, you know, they did their vows and all that cute stuff, and then um, eventually we ate and stuff. So as the time went on in the open bar, people start drinking quite a bit, and uh, everyone kind of came out of their shell within, like, two hours, and I was so wrong about all of them. These people got shit-faced, like it was like a frat party. Um and everyone's got their vape pens, their weed vape pens, like smoking cigarettes. One kid had a blunt. I was like, that is very bold of you. Um, just smoking a blunt side of the house. I was like, all right. Um, so there is a huge plane above me and it's not moving. It always freaks me out. Like you see those conspiracy stories where it's like, you know, a bird is like standing still and they're like, oh, it's like stuck in a dimension or whatever. I love that shit, but that plane wasn't moving. It looked like an army plane. Um, anyway, so yeah, so they all got real loose real quick. So by the time like we finished eating, uh, everyone was on the dance floor, uh, really letting loose hardcore. Um, my kids were not enjoying it from probably within five minutes of being there. They both realized they made a mistake by wanting to go. Um, I tried to warn them what a wedding is like. Um, it gets fun at the reception, but I think it's only when you're an adult it gets fun at the reception. As a kid, if you don't dance and you don't know anyone there, um, like they knew some people there, but it was like older people, you know. Um, so they pretty much hated their life the whole time that they were there. Um, so we ended up leaving around like 8.15 or whatever, started at 4. But I got my youngest son to go on the dance floor with me for like, um, maybe like five minutes. And he was like, yeah, no, I'm good with this. Um, but it was a good time. I wish I could have stayed longer because it was fun and I love the reception part of weddings. I'm not a fan of like the ceremony part. It's very boring to me. Um, but luckily it was quick because it was in the backyard. So it wasn't like this long, like Catholic drawn out type of thing. I've been to one of those weddings and I just wanted to punch myself in the face uh, because it was just not enjoyable at all. You had to stand a lot and then you're sitting and then you stand and they're doing all the ha 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 type shit. Um, not for me. So it went, you know, it went pretty good. Went as good as it can. Uh, and then he got home and they went in there. Well, they grabbed like a 
shit ton of food and then went in their rooms. Um, so yeah, so today we put in the ACs so they're happy um, because their rooms get a little warm because they always have the doors closed. So even with their windows open, there's no cross breeze happening. Um, but yeah, it's just driving around, figured I'd pop on and say hi. There's another one of those planes. It's not an army plane. I don't know, it's gray, it's all gray, and it's just weaving, and okay. I mean, it's their first time flying. <laughs> just going in circles, maybe? I don't know. Um, one thing I did notice yesterday, which was funny, and uh, my kid's dad and his girlfriend were kind of laughing at me, and I know I've talked about it before, like, prior to being on these meds, I could shove down emotion like and not like I could always feel like pissed off like that emotion never went away but as far as like being emotional and like crying and stuff like it was something I could control very well and since being on these meds I feel everything all the time and so when they were doing their when they were saying their vows for some reason I was getting choked up and so he started laughing at me because she's crying and he's used to her crying because she is, you know, she's an emotional person. She lets it out and I have always envied that in a sense, but also at the same time, I don't like feeling emotions. Um, so he's laughing at me and then she looks at me and she's laughing because my eyes are about to boil over with tears. And I'm like, this is so fucking stupid. Like, I know them, but, like, I don't know-know them. Like, I I was a guest. You know, I went with someone else to fill in for someone else type of thing. And I'm like, God, what is wrong with me? And then later in the night, when her mom did a speech about, you know, her daughter and how she was so happy that, you know, she found, um, you know, a best friend, a lover of her life, all that stuff. And so then my brain, being my brain, is like, hey, how can we make this even more emotional for you? And then it was like, oh, yeah, like, if I ever got married, like, my mom wouldn't be there. Grammy wouldn't be there. Who would do a speech? So then I was like, you know what? I'm just going to get my third margarita right now. Like, I'm so over the feelings that go along with it. Um... So yeah, so another drink helped, and uh, after that, just kind of enjoyed the night, and I don't know, it was an interesting day. It was interestingly emotional, and it wasn't even people that I'm, like, close with. It was just very strange. I don't like it. Um, and if I had the choice, uh, obviously I choose to be on this medication because it does make me feel better. Um, it not only helps stabilize my moods, but it allows me to think more rationally and not um, like the dark thoughts as I call them when I'm like creating scenarios in my head and making myself sad and you know, it doesn't let me do that. It, like I'm more rational about my feelings and people and stuff like that. So. Although I do love them, I don't like feeling everything. Like, every damn thing. I saw a baby there, and he was, like, couldn't have been older than a month, and he had on little, um, like, gray little dress pant type things, and uh, little suspenders, and he was just so cute. And I was like, oh, I remember when my kids were that little. And then I got choked up about that. I'm like, what the fuck is happening to me? So, yeah, it's just like a ball of emotion, and it's not like a negative thing, but I just don't like it. Bottom line, I'd rather feel nothing and, ooh, that's a nice Mustang, um, and feel nothing in that type of way, but here we are, crying at weddings, people I barely know, it's just so weird. So this week, it's supposed to rain all week, and normally I, you know, we like going to the lake and stuff, but because I have time off, I'm like, yes, give me some nice weather so we can like get out of the house and go to the lake and enjoy some time, like 
out of the house. But yeah, all this week it's gonna fucking rain. It's awesome, awesome. And it's not even gonna get like past, I think, 75, which usually means when they say 75, it's around like, let's say 77 to 80. Like it's always higher, a little bit higher than what they say. Um, so yeah, but I made plans to go see my friend Lisa on Friday. Um, so she has a pool, so we're going to go there. We're going to hang out. Uh, she's got many kids, uh, five to be exact, all different ages. So the kids like going there and hanging out. Um, so we're going to do that and maybe tomorrow we will go get some bubble tea. Uh, actually, no, I have to wait till I get paid. Um, maybe like Wednesday we'll go get bubble tea and some pizza down in Mass. Uh, our favorite bubble tea place is in New Bedford and we get pizza at the Dartmouth Mall. This called this place called Rainoni's. Um, they've literally been in that mall since I was old enough to go to the mall. Like they've been there forever and now they've taken over the entire food court. So it's the only place that you can get food in the mall, which I think is pretty awesome for them because they have killer food. Um, so we always get the linguisa pizza because you can't get linguisa pizza in Rhode Island, which is like fucking stupid. But um, it makes the trip so worth it between that and then we grab the bubble tea. It's, it's, you know, four hours basically out of the house between the drive and the eating and stuff. Um, and they enjoy doing it. So we're probably going to do that Wednesday. Um, so yeah, pretty, pretty chilled out week ahead it seems. But I am happy with that. I don't like having a lot of plans all at once. Um, so it should be a good time. I have a video that I will be uploading that I recorded on Friday, but just didn't um, didn't put up. So I'll be doing that today. Um, and that's all I got, guys. Um, I hope you know, everyone is just out today. Like, God. And then there's this place, Iggy's that sells like fried dough and like just all kinds of good shit but the it's like kind of near where I live so there's a certain road that I'm on right now that is always so incredibly backed up in the summertime or just any day that it's super nice because everyone is trying to get there and uh ooh I'm behind that nice Mustang yeah this is pretty you got a pretty car um, so yeah, anyway, it was a nice chat with you guys. Sorry if this was all over the place and derpy. I'm like in a derpy mood today. Um, but I hope y'all have a great rest of your day and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.